Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 build 22635.4082. The beta channel is currently on the version 23H2 development, so it isn't clear if these changes are going to arrive soon or they're going to be part of version 24H2. Okay, let's dive into the new features and changes in this latest preview of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. In this release, Microsoft is introducing a new media control interface that will appear on the lock screen when video and audio is playing on the desktop. So, for example, right now I have a video playing on the background and now if we go to lock the screen, we are going to notice a new interface at the bottom of the screen and actually is under the uh, weather widgets. And as you can see, it has a thumbnail of the video that is playing. And in this particular case, I have part of the name of the video that's playing. And you also have the controls to pause, play. You also have the controls to play next and previous. It is important to note that this feature is available whether or not you have the weather information enabled on the lock screen. For example, if we go to the settings app and then we disable the weather information and then we lock the device one more time, we're going to see that we'll continue to get the media control interface. As part of the uh, notification improvements, it is now possible to turn off toast notifications that suggest different actions. If you don't like to see these type of notifications, you can now click and the menu right here, and then you will find the option to disable this type of notifications, or you can now find an option on the settings up, more specifically on system notifications. And then on this list, you are now going to find a new notification suggestions option that allows you to turn off this type of notifications. On this particular release of Windows 11, we are also going to find that Microsoft is updating the delivery optimization settings to match the operating system design language more closely. These changes were previously discovered in the dev channel and they needed to be enabled manually. And I have shown them before, but here's another look. The new design groups the settings previously available on the advanced options and activity monitor pages on the main delivery optimization page, as you can see it right here. As a result, now you're going to find one specific setting to control the download options and another option for downloads. You even have this option to change the way that you configure the download options. At the bottom of the page, you're also going to find the activity monitor section that will show you some stats for downloads and uploads. So for you to notice the difference, currently the delivery optimization has the advanced options page. And in here, you can see that we have the settings to configure the download and upload settings and it uses the uh, Windows 10 design. And if you want to access the activity monitor, you have to click right here and that will take you to the page. Finally, Microsoft did not mention this, but on Windows 11 build 22635.4082, the start menu includes another preview of the feature that allows you to change the view of the all apps menu. We have seen this in the past, but now the feature, it's almost working. So now we can switch between the different views And perhaps the most interesting view is a category view that groups the apps based on their category. And currently it's not possible to open the group, but you can click on each of the items and that should open the app. And that's it. Those are the most significant changes that we're going to find on Windows 11 build 22635.4082 in the beta channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. And also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.